Representative Mary Morrissey apologized to her fellow representative Jim Carroll on the House floor. Morrissey was caught on camera dumping water in Carroll's bag multiple times during a legislative session. Ain't nothing changed, nothing new here to see. This ain't nothing but some political maneuvering. America! Welcome to the eulogy, eat it up. It's called political buffoonery. Hey there, everybody, and welcome to This Week in Dumb Democracy, where we showcase some of the dumbest newsmakers of the week. Over the past year that we've been doing this show, we've seen all kinds of stupid buffoons. We've seen the profanity laced tirades of buffoons. Town likes you. Uh, Toast to 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 some ice cream. Yeah, why don't you go fuck yourself? We even saw one senator challenge a witness to step outside and settle it with some fisticuffs. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Big oh, oh, stop it. We've seen the mumbling, the bumbling, the stumbling buffoons. She knew, lost. She knew so long as she was denied. We've even seen the buffoons pulling the fire alarms while Congress is in session. Apparently, one of the Democratic members, Jamal Bowman, according to the House Administration Committee, also tried to pull a fire alarm in Cannon this morning. An investigation into why it was pulled is underway. But this one might take the cake. We're going up to Vermont for this story of a Republican legislator who spent the past five months pouring a cup of water in a colleague's bag before going to work. You can't make this up, folks. We're going to go through this story. But before we do, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other shows. And if you like what you're seeing here in this or any other video on the channel, I'm going to ask you to please just politely smash that thumbs up button. Like, comment, share the show with your friends, all that good stuff, because all of that helps grow the show by feeding the YouTube algorithm. What? Feed me! Okay, okay. As always, thank you guys so much for all that you do to grow the channel. I really appreciate all of your efforts. And for all you newbies out there, man, did you pick a good one to come visit us on? I hope this video earns your subscription as we talk about Mary Morrissey, who was caught on a hidden camera by her Democrat rival, I guess? I don't know. A gentleman by the name of Jim Carroll caught her in the act pouring water into his tote bag, something that she's been doing for five months. This story started out as local news in Vermont and has since blown up into national news. Let's get the story from this local Vermont affiliate to see exactly what the hell is going on. And before state lawmakers got to work on Monday, one issued an apology to another for dumping water in his bag throughout the year. Representative Mary Morrissey apologized to her fellow representative Jim Carroll on the House floor. Morrissey was caught on camera dumping water in Carroll's bag multiple times during a legislative session. Video Carroll shared with seven days after they reported on it. The two lawmakers are both from Bennington. Morrissey is a Republican and Carroll is a Democrat. In her apology, Morrissey said she hopes everyone in the room and the state can forgive her. Who does that? So apparently they represent the same area, Bennington, Vermont. I, I'm going to look it up later to see what's going on in Bennington that there's this rivalry, I guess, between this Republican legislator and the Democrat legislator. You never know what might happen in a small town. But let's get to the hidden video that Representative Carroll had to create in order to find Representative Morrissey caught red-handed. Okay, here we go. This is a hidden camera that Jim Carroll set up to catch whoever was pouring water in the tote bag that you see on the hook there in the coat room of the legislature. Oh, here she comes. There it is. Yep, that's clearly a glass of water going into the bag. Oh my goodness. This looks like another instance when Carroll is setting up the bag. He has the camera set up. I guess he's confirming whether this is just a one-off or multiple times. How could that be a one-off, by the way, that someone would do that? Maybe he's looking for a conspiracy here, but nope, there's Morrissey again. Unbelievable. She did it again. I'm sure you have as many questions as I do. Namely, who elected this buffoon Morrissey? How long has she been in government for? And... What the fuck is going on? So after getting caught pouring the water into this bag on multiple occasions on this hidden camera. Morrissey had no choice but to make an apology, and she did so probably in the biggest way possible, on the record, 
on the floor of the Vermont legislature. Madam Speaker, I am grateful and humbled for this opportunity to make a brief statement to my fellow legislators regarding my disrespectful conduct of my district mate, Jim Carroll from Bennington. I am truly ashamed for my actions. I have given my sincere apology to Jim directly and publicly and will be working towards resolution and restoration through our legislative process. It was conduct most unbecoming of my position as a representative and as a human being and is not reflective of my 28 years of service and civility. I'm sorry, did she say she's been in government for 28 years? And this is what you're doing? Oh my goodness, I, I can't believe that a grown adult, let alone a supposed, I guess, respected member of the community who has been elected and re-elected to office for close to three decades is acting worse than my preteen nephew. This is the sort of conduct you expect in kindergarten, maybe in daycare. But no, this is the Vermont State House. You want to be taken seriously, you have to start acting like an adult. Listen, I'll give her credit for apologizing and doing this so publicly. But on the other hand, you got caught on hidden camera, so what else could you do other than apologize for what you did? Let me ask you this, and we'll make this the topic of the day. Would Mary Morrissey be apologizing so publicly and have her voice shaking so much if she wasn't caught red-handed? Let me know what you think in the comments. Two that I do value towards my colleagues. I hope Jim, my legislative colleagues, all of our state house staff and those who work in this building and the citizens of Vermont can forgive me for my poor judgment and actions and allow me to take the necessary, necessary steps to repair what I have done. Madam Speaker, again, my sincerest apologies. Okay, so she sounds sincere again. Would she be doing this if she wasn't caught? I don't know, but when we come back from the break, we're going to see how Jim Carroll received this apology from Mary Morrissey. Like what you see so far? Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. Also, leave us a comment and tell us what you're thinking. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another show. So we heard the apology. And now Jim Carroll has the opportunity to respond to that apology. Thank you, Madam Speaker. And to Representative Morrissey, uh, I hear the sincerity in your voice. And i uh, got to be quite frank with you and the body and our constituents and the people of Vermont that for five months I went through this. And each time, each day that I went through this, Representative Morrissey had a choice to make. And every day for those five months, Morrissey chose violence, apparently. There has to be some sort of deep-seated resentment, animosity, something there. A sane person doesn't do this for no reason. An insane person doesn't do this for no reason. There had to be some sort of trigger that hijacked Mary Morrissey's brain that made her sort of come to this conclusion of, yep, got to throw water in his bag every day for some reason or another. There had to be some trigger there that happened to her that made her just go loco here. It's not clear from the reporting what it is. And honestly, I'm sure Mary Morrissey's not going to be responding to press inquiries to see what the motivation was here. I'm sure she wants to get past this as quickly as possible. She's pulling a Jamal Bowman here wanting to put this behind her. And Jim Carroll seems to be sincere in accepting that apology, and he's acting like quite a gentleman here in his response, I have to say. And each time that she didn't choose to either drop it or to come to me and say, look, I'm sorry, we screwed up, let's, let's put our heads together and uh, 
try to serve our constituents the way they ought to be. And for that, I'm really sorry and sad uh, that that happened. But frankly, you know, after five months of that, and it was, it was torment, there's no doubt about it, with me anyway. There, there's gonna be some work to be done between the two of us. And uh, that first time that we sit down together, it's gonna be kind of awkward, but uh, we have to start somewhere. So thank you. That's a classy move. I don't have to do a deep dive analysis into this one, right, guys? Mary Morrissey, completely buffoonish in her actions here. You'd expect this from, like I said, a kindergartner, a preschooler, but not from a 28-year-long representative of the State House in Vermont. I don't know what triggered this, but she did apologize, so I'll give her, I'll give her half credit because she only apologized after getting caught on hidden camera, right? So complete buffoon here. I'm hoping I can get bipartisan support from you guys on this, that this Republican doing this to this Democrat was completely wrong, and she's a complete idiot for doing it. I'm hoping we can bridge a partisan gap here, but can I get unanimous consent from everyone to proclaim Mary Morrissey a buffoon, regardless of whatever party she's a part of? And can I also get unanimous consent from everyone to empathize with Jim Carroll for what he went through? I'm sure we've all had these moments where someone was taunting us or bothering us and all that, and maybe it was done anonymously like this, and we just it just irked us, and I'm sure we can all relate to those feelings. Let's just give Jim Carroll credit for acting like the adult in the room in response to the apology and all of this. I hope that this is a lesson for conflict resolution. It's an extreme example, but I hope this is a lesson lesson for conflict resolution between parties here, you gotta get past all the petty bullshit. I suggest we set aside our differences and work together. Do the work and all this other nonsense just goes by the wayside. Concentrate on the work of the people. That's what we want our elected officials to do. You're not gonna hate man. Mary Morrissey, I hope she has an uphill battle to be reelected for whatever time it's going to be. The umpteenth time that she's gonna be reelected, or maybe not. Maybe there's a challenger out there who's going to exploit this. I don't know what the future holds, but I'll tell you what. It's going to take a real stupendous act of buffoonery to take this one off the top of my list for the stupidest story in political buffoonery in 2024. Well, listen, that's just my opinion on this whole thing. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, like and share the show with your friends. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I can't wait to see what you guys have to say about this. Let's get into the comments together discussing this story and all the other shenanigans and buffoonery happening this week in Dumb Democracy. All views and opinions expressed here are not necessarily of the mainstream media. It may offend some listeners. It's called political buffoonery.